Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to uh, walk around and show you some things that uh, I'm going to have going on over the next month. I'm not really going to do a walkthrough video this month. Uh, I put a lot of things in uh, during the month of May, but it's really not big enough change to you know, go through any kind of detail on this. But I've got lines painted all over the ground, and this video is as helpful for me as it is anything else. So I'll remember where I painted all the lines on the ground. Uh, for planning, I've been, I've spent a good week. Uh, uh, I, I had a friend come over and uh, that I've known for a long time, and we bounce things off of one another. And I'm trying to make sure there's a delicate balance in this landscape project I have going on my at my house between I want to show as many varieties as I possibly can and include those in my landscape, new and exciting things. But at the end of the day, it still has to, you know, make sense at the end of it. So I, I've kind of gone through and. Uh, going to you know just doing a reset and making sure that uh you know you know i like where it is at this point and that it actually has a long-term plan so i'm just going to go through and show you some lines on the ground and what those things are going to be i have already sweated through this is the morning i'm putting these end walls on this greenhouse and uh, probably most people would say don't shoot a video with a sweaty shirt on but uh, i also want to let you guys know that i you know i'm actually out here doing the work and i live in central north carolina or almost southeast north carolina and it is very thick outside this time of year and uh, I, it's not too bad today. I call this a two shirt day. Uh, I, 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 I call days by how many shirts I'll go through before the end of the day. A three shirt day is usually about the worst and those usually occur sometime around early August. So we're not into the worst of it yet. Uh, so anyway, let's walk around and take a look. So I think Holly's just gonna lay here while we do this. Uh, this turf on my uh, side yard on the west side of my house goes up to there and over to there and all this is going to be eliminated and I'm actually just going to re-sod uh, this piece back here. I had the winter rye back here which looked great but the heat's burned it out now. And I'm, not just, I'm just not going to do anything with it until I actually uh, sod it. Um, this place back here in this corner at one time actually had a, uh, a swimming pool on it when my son was younger for a few years. And so it's very compacted. I'm going to do a kind of a U-shaped bed around the back of it. This part of it's gonna be a patio. My burn pile is going to become an actual fire pit. And so that U goes around to there. That's those autumn bonfire azaleas. There's some other Encore azaleas here um, that I'm going to flip over to the other side because I'm gonna put some steps in uh, right here. And there's some sort of circular bed going in here, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. But these steps are going to come up to here. And I think I had already said in another video, this is definitely going to be a patio. I got to get these stumps out of here. Uh, that uh, uh, Empress of China dogwood back there is in bloom now. That's such a beautiful tree. Uh, where I put the vegetable garden in and I've been shooting the videos for the uh, irrigation, uh, this is going to become a formal garden, which I had kind of planned on all along. There's going to be something tall in this corner right here. And then this is gonna be a boxwood hedge that runs down here. The boxwood hedge is gonna run across the back of this. There's gonna be a white, a white picket fence um, back here behind it. Right here in the center, um, excuse my compost pile, my compost piles. This is actually where my compost bin is gonna be, but it's gonna be behind a fence. There's gonna be uh, a raised container here built and a raised container here and then some sort of arch going over it. So right down the middle of my vegetable garden right there will be a little skinny brick path is what it's gonna end up being. Uh, there's gonna be a tall piece here, and then this will be framed in with boxwoods going across here. I may flip this boxwood hedge to include the blueberries. Haven't decided yet. Still working that through in my mind. I was gonna continue out with a perennial border here, but I actually think I'm gonna plant figs uh, in this area, I'm going to leave that salvia area right there. Uh, you wouldn't believe how many hummingbirds are uh, on that all day long. I'm over here bothering them right now. But I think this is going to become figs uh, in this area, uh, just to have this all be uh, edible pieces over here other than the uh, salvia. So this is it from the other angle. Uh, boxwood hedge is going to run through here or on the outside of those blueberries. Like I say, I'm still working on that. Um, some upright structure right here. Uh, boxwoods, some sort of landing pad here. There'll be a planter there and a planter there and some sort of arch over the top right here. I'm going to get this stuff covered up with part of my boxwood hedge, run this out to there. I've got other lines on the ground here for paths. 
this um i'm not moving a whole lot of pieces i don't have to move a whole lot of plans with my i don't have to move a lot of plants with my new plan but that crepe myrtle right there that dwarf crepe myrtle will move because i'm going to take the skinny set of steps out and make a full width set of steps across here that are also deeper steps so they'll come a little further out into the grass right here and it will connect to that new patio there and then that new patio there will connect to that new patio up there with the uh, with the steps and then that circular bed will be somewhere in here I'm, like i say i don't know quite what i'm going to do with that yet i have a project coming up here in the next couple days with that container and that purple pixie laura petalum i'm going to cut this uh whole place out right here this a uh, little u here and this is going to be a brick uh, kind of a half moon shape that set of steps is coming out and it's going to be much much wider this actual rails coming off of my uh, front deck or front porch altogether. Uh, from here this this sidewalk's coming out and this is going to be larger uh, stepping stones this wall retaining wall right here which i built over 20 years ago has seen better days it's actually going to become a small uh, brick wall so holly's joined me in the front now uh, all the stuff that i put in here looks great but instead of tearing this sidewalk out i've actually decided just to put a brick edge on it it is going to be cut out somewhere in here i haven't figured out the exact line as you can tell but somewhere in here i'm going to cut it out and this will be all brick where i'm standing and this will be brick uh, lined concrete right there the sun just got super super bright on me another project i'm kind of excited about is i've got climbing hydrangea here there's an annabelle hydrangea here i had planted a mountain hydrangea and a hydrangea macrophylla in the backyard and i've got a hydrangea paniculata that white wedding and i have an oak leaf hydrangea i have all six kinds of hydrangeas right this minute i have that will be an upcoming video these are autumn ivory encore azaleas i'm going to add some autumn lily encore azaleas here the dwarf one right there this is now going to be the entrance uh one of the entrances to this garden space i'm going to be outlining it with some of these baby gem uh, boxwoods right here i've got path now established in this space i had planted all the all the big trees and a lot of the big shrubs and uh, now i'm establishing the path through here for now i think i'm going to remove some of this mulch and take it over to the west side of my yard um, into that new space that's not mulched and just pine straw these paths for now to differentiate them um, i'll mix some other mixed things in here and especially at these nodes where paths kind of cross um, you know, I'll use some sort of material here in the future uh, to define that. This will go back over to my driveway. That camellia, which I had in a video a long time ago uh, that I prepped to move in the fall, I'm moving that very soon. There's going to be a screen right there, and my trash can is moving up into that space. This path continues along here. If you can see these painted lines, if the lines change color, it's just because I kept running out of paint. I have old cans of paint from the landscape days. Um, it's going to be a circular area in here with a bench uh, right in there. Uh, I played around for a little while. Um, there's a fence, uh, fence picket missing right there. I did that. I was considering having a gate in there, but I changed my mind. This is some other shrubs that are going to have to move. Will be these uh, three camellias right here. I'm taking out the corner of this fence, taking out this winter honeysuckle, and I'm actually going to cut basically a 45 degree angle here and put a double gate at a 45 degree angle into my backyard uh, into that shade garden that I've created on the other side of it, which is very, very beautiful. So I want to accent that a little more. And the fence type is going to change from the back uh, over to here. And it's going to match some new screens that I'm putting in here. There's going to be a 10 or 12 foot wide screen going in there, in there, and right in there, which I think is going to be uh, very nice i've got an idea of the materials i'm going to use so you'll see that as that comes up but i'm switching from doing as much planting as i was doing to a little more hardscaping and a little more you know bed creation and uh, changes that need to be made in order to continue to move forward now that i've got these nodes in place you can come back in here and really put nicer you know accent things i've lined up a path here so that the focal point will be this weeping cherry just kind of aiming people when they come into a garden at the you know the things you want them to be uh the main focal points so thank you very much for walking around with me real quick and like i say that's probably more beneficial to me because i can go back and watch this video and you know after the paint washes off the ground and figure out what did it, what, what was it i said i was going to do here uh because uh this is a big space and uh you know to be completely redoing something i had landscaped it pretty well early on and then you know things got big 
uh, over the course of being self-employed and working as many hours as I was. And I took so many things out. It is really kind of daunting to come back in. And uh, it's, the work's not daunting at all. The work's easy. This is just what I've done uh, all my life. I have no problem whatsoever with the actual physical labor part of it. But sometimes you can get ahead of yourself a little bit, um, you know, just sticking things in the ground. And that's okay. These things, you know, the, the, I think I've got three, four, maybe as many as six pieces uh, that are going to move that you guys have seen me put in. Really not that big of a deal. Uh, they haven't been in the ground long enough that it's really going to hurt them. And I'll be careful moving them. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And I look forward to uh, showing you these upcoming projects. <laughs>